And the time is now 648. We're dealing with mostly clear skies across the valley. Here's a live look from the DHR Health Cam in Edinburgh. Nothing but clear skies out in Edinburgh in the upper valley, but as we go into looking at those current temperatures, we are still very warm and muggy up to about 78 degrees in some locations, 80 degrees already in McAllen. Northeast winds around three miles an hour, so very calm conditions as of now. Brownsville sitting at around 79 degrees, so a bit on the cooler side for our coastal areas, but as we look at that dog walk forecast, expect those temps to continue just slowly warming up into the upper 80s. We do have the chance for rain just after the noon hour, but of course our evening team will be on the road for the Friday night football game as the McAllen Memorial Mustangs takes on the Mission Vets there. The temperatures in the mid-80s kick off at 730. Winds very calm between 3 and 5 miles an hour. Halftime around 84 degrees. We are expecting rain chances today. However, rain chances diminishing in the overnight hours. However, right now, high resolution radar showing just very isolated uh, streamer showers along our coastal areas. As we get closer towards the noon hour to 1, 2 p.m., we're going to see that sea breeze frontal boundary just move inland and we very well could see some flare-ups of isolated downpours one again today. We're going to see a bit more coverage of storms as we head into the afternoon, more so than what we did yesterday. We did see some isolated flare-ups yesterday, but we're going to see uh, some of these occasional downpours that could give us a localized flooding threat in some locations. Our grounds are fairly saturated as we are definitely dealing with, uh, not even dealing with drought conditions anymore, but as we look at the future rain totals, at least through Monday, we could be dealing uh, with between an inch to two inches of rain in some locations, even though some areas could actually receive up to three inches of rain, depending on where those isolated downpours fall there as we head into the start of next week. If you're heading across Texas for Labor Day weekend, unfortunately, I have some bad news for you. We are expecting widespread rain chances for much of the state for the weekend. Right now, very calm conditions, so if you're heading out early this morning, we are expecting calm conditions as of now, and you might get to your destination very well and safe, but as we head into this afternoon, we're going to start seeing that flare-up of the widespread rain showers at least through Saturday, so the bulk of that rainfall falling on Saturday into Sunday, so very rainy conditions stretching as far south as the valley up to San Antonio, Austin, even the Houston area dealing with those showers and storms as we head into the start of next week. We have a mid week upper level low pressure system that's going to be dominating across the south central U.S. and that is going to bring us those rain chances and we very well could see some showers and storms last at least through the middle of next week. As far as the tropics, we still have Danielle that's currently in the northern Atlantic. This is going to remain over open water not posing a threat to land. It is expected to strengthen into a Category 2 hurricane as we head into the next uh, few days there. But also there's another disturbance that's just the north of South America that has a 70% chance of development uh, for the next uh, few days. As we look at the next seven days, as far as our forecast, we are expecting those temps to continue being just warm and humid. Heavy rain and storms possible through Labor Day weekend for the valley. And if you're expecting to escape the rain and storms, not really expecting to see any clear conditions across the northern areas, but we are expecting those highs in the low 90s. Rain chances lasting through next Wednesday and Thursday.